Once each year, the research organization Standard & Poor's, Dow Jones, and NASDAQ undertake a joint review of the composition of companies included in the indices they manage. When a specific company is encountering difficulties and its stock is plummeted, it is highly probable that this company will be removed from its index and replaced by a new star in a practice known as index rebalancing. Stocks such as Apple and Google did not always appear on an index, but made their entrance due to their success while other companies were doing poorly or were completely inactive. Why does this need to interest you? There are two things you should know about index rebalancing. First, never believe a person who says something like, if you had invested $1,000 in the Dow Jones 30 years ago, you'd be rich today. That's a fraudulent statement used by Wall Street salespersons and fund managers trying to lure you into a long-term investment. In actuality, the index changes annually because stronger stocks replace those doing poorly. If you had invested in the original index, you'd have lost a lot of money by now. The second thing you need to know is that index rebalancing can make you money. Many investment funds link to an index. For example, a fund might promise its investors that it will invest only in stocks belonging to the S&P 500 index. When a stock is removed from the index, the fund is forced to sell it and buy the stock moving on to the list. When stocks are being replaced in an index, the information is publicized several weeks before the actual change. This means that funds are forced to sell and to begin buying stocks in advance. The result is that a stock being removed from an index will drop because the funds are forced to sell it, while a stock entering an index will rise as funds purchase it. It's that simple. Type the terms S&P Rebalance, Dow Jones Rebalance, NASDAQ Rebalance, or Russell 2000 Rebalance into your search engine to find the dates and precise list of stocks leaving and joining these indices.